there's something pretty great about Fred and Rose West, The Unanswered Questions. I've seen multiple documentaries about Fred and Rose West, and they always pop up in like, compilation documentaries and things. So I thought, what is this actually going to do? And honestly, in terms of unanswered questions, um, no, it didn't really answer anything that I wasn't already aware of. But in terms of the way it's presented, it's really good. Now, I will say, I watched this on Now TV, and it ended very abruptly. So I don't know if they maybe just tailed it a little bit too soon, because it was 45 minutes in length um, when I watched it. This is apparently an hour so I think they maybe cut off a little bit of the end on Now TV, which is very odd. Um, so maybe they, maybe they answered some questions at the end. I don't know. But ultimately, it is just looking at Fred and Rose West and, um, well, what happened. If you're unaware, they are a couple who sexually abused and murdered an uncountable number of young women and girls. And... They were arrested in the 90s and Rose West is still alive. And this it just looks at, you know, what happened. And as I said, there aren't any really any unanswered questions. But what I really like about this is that it's actually really quite informative. Um, the only thing that I think it could have done more of is focusing on the dominant roles um, because Fred definitely dominated the situation, but then it kind of slightly touched upon moments where Rose was in charge. And I've seen other documentaries that back that up and make positive arguments, positive's not the right word, but make strong arguments for that. But this one kind of only gently touched upon it, and I think it could have done more. It could have done more to kind of look into that. But aside from that, um, I think it's really well presented. It looks at all of the victims in turn, I think it could have looked more into how the victims ended up being with Fred and Rose. Some of them, yes, it did. Some of them, not so much. It also didn't really look too much at their own daughter, their own 16-year-old daughter, who was also a victim. I think they could have focused more on that. And although I'm being quite negative and saying they could have done this, they could have done that, it was actually really enjoyable. The editing was great. When it focused on each of the victims, it did it respectfully. It did it in a way where... We could at least get to know them a little bit. Images on screen, everything made sense. What I think made this a cut above the rest, though, there are two things. The first one others have done, but I think they did it very well here, is the use of archival footage from the time of people being interviews, uh, interviewed, survivors being interviewed. And, you know, that's obviously always really interesting, particularly for people like me, who, you know, I was born in 1992. I have no recollection of this happening at the time. So it's always interesting for me to kind of look back on that. But it also showed quite, in quite a lot of detail, their basement where the girls were held and abused and ultimately murdered and buried. And I don't believe I've ever seen a documentary about Fred and Rose that, went into that level of detail it might have shown a brief grainy photo but this actually really kind of focused in on it and showed what it looked like and um, obviously footage from the time and you know I, I thought that that made it a little bit more unique and a little bit more interesting I honestly can't really fault it as I said it doesn't really answer any unanswered questions but in terms of the way it's presented and edited together, I, I actually think it was really good, very enjoyable, work, works really well. If you are new to Fred and Rose West and know absolutely nothing about them, I think it's a, it's a pretty good foundation. It's definitely a good starting point. But as I said, for example, with um, Rose particularly, she's got a very, well, very disturbing um, background before she met Fred. And that's something that's definitely worth looking into outside of this documentary for a more well-rounded package. I enjoyed it a lot. I definitely enjoyed it. As I said, it ended quite abruptly. I'm not sure why. Um, it was produced by British Sky Broadcasting, so I assume that if it's an hour and then you incorporate the adverts into that time frame, um, it would be... 
I, I guess just under that so maybe they only cut off the last five minutes or so uh, I might see if I can find it elsewhere and see if I can catch those last few minutes but for the most part really enjoyed it it's one of the most informative Fred and Rose West documentaries I've seen it packs a lot into a short space of time if you know nothing about them good starting point if you already know a lot about them it will it's a good way to recap and it will show you some footage that you've perhaps not seen which I think is good if it's your kind of thing absolutely worth checking out